Welcome to USA 24 News. Today's breaking news, American journalist Grant Wall dies after collapsing at Qatar World Cup. Prominent American journalist Grant Wall has died in Qatar after collapsing while covering the World Cup, sparking an outpouring of shock and grief across the sports world. He collapsed while covering Friday's Argentina-Netherlands match, a witness told CNN. Qatar's World Cup organizers said on Saturday that Wall fell ill in the press area, where he received immediate medical treatment on site. He was then transferred to Hamad General Hospital, said a spokesperson for the Supreme Court Committee for Delivery and Legacy, the body responsible for planning the tournament. He was treated in the stadium for about 20 to 25 minutes before he was moved to the hospital, Kier Radnij, a columnist at World Soccer Magazine, told CNN Saturday. This was towards the end of extra time in the match. Suddenly, colleagues up to my left started shouting for medical assistance. Obviously, someone had collapsed. Because the chairs are freestanding, people were able to move the chairs, so it's possible to create a little bit of space around him, Radnij said. He added that the medical team were there pretty quickly and were able to, as best they could, give treatment. The circumstances around his death are not clear. The entire U.S. soccer family is heartbroken to learn that we have lost Grant Wall, U.S. soccer said in a statement on its official Twitter account. Grant made soccer his life's work, and we are devastated that he and his brilliant writing will no longer be with us. U.S. soccer praised Wall's passion and belief in the power of the game to advance human rights, and shared its condolences with Wall's wife, Celine Gounder, and his loved ones. Gounder also posted the U.S. soccer statement on Twitter. I am so thankful for the support of my husband Grant Wall's soccer family and of so many friends who've reached out tonight. I'm in complete shock, wrote Gounder, a former CNN contributor who served on the Biden-Harris Transition COVID-19 Advisory Board. U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price said the department was in close communication with Wall's family. The World Cup organizers also said they were in touch with the U.S. Embassy to ensure the process of repatriating the body is in accordance with the family's wishes. Wall had covered soccer for more than two decades, including 11 World Cups, six men's, five women's, and authored several books on the sport, according to his website. He had just celebrated his birthday earlier this week with a great group of media friends at the World Cup according to a post on his official Twitter account, which added, very thankful for everyone. Feeling ill. In an episode of the podcast Football with Grant Wall, published days before his death on December 6, he had complained of feeling unwell. It had gotten pretty bad in terms of like the tightness in my chest, tightness, pressure. Feeling pretty hairy, bad, Wall told co-host Chris Whittingham in the episode. He added that he sought help at the medical clinic at the World Cup Media Center, believing he had bronchitis. He was given cough syrup and ibuprofen, and felt better shortly afterward, he said. Wall also said he experienced an involuntary capitulation by my body and mind after the U.S.-Netherlands game on December 3. This isn't my first rodeo. I've done eight of these on the men's side, he said at the time. And so like, I've gotten sick to some extent at every tournament, and it's just about trying to find a way to like get your work done. He further described the incident in a recent newsletter published on December 5, writing that his body had broke down after he had little sleep, high stress, and a heavy workload. He'd had a cold for 10 days, which turned into something more severe, he wrote, adding that he felt better after receiving antibiotics and catching up on sleep. Wall had made headlines in November by reporting that he was detained and briefly refused entry to a World Cup match because he was wearing a rainbow t-shirt in support of LGBTQ rights. He said security staff had told him to change his shirt because it's not allowed and had taken his phone. Wall said he was released 25 minutes after being detained and received apologies from a FIFA representative and a senior member of the security team at the stadium. Afterward, Walt told CNN he probably will wear the shirt again. Tributes pour in. Wall's death has sent shockwaves through the soccer and sports journalism community, with many sharing tributes on social media. Only some days ago, Grant was recognized by FIFA and AIPS, 
the International Sports Press Association, for his contribution to reporting on eight consecutive FIFA World Cups, said FIFA President Johnny Infantino in a statement. The co-editors-in-chief of Sports Illustrated, the publication where Wall spent the majority of his career, said in a joint statement they were shocked and devastated at the news of Grant's passing. We were proud to call him a colleague and friend for two decades, no writer in the history of Sports Illustrated has been more passionate about the sport he loved and the stories he wanted to tell, said the statement. It added that Wall had first joined the publication in November 1996. He had volunteered to cover the sport as a junior reporter, back before it reached the heights of global popularity it now enjoys, eventually becoming one of the most respected soccer authorities in the world, it said. The statement said that Wall also worked with other media outlets, including Fox Sports. After leaving Sports Illustrated in 2020, he began publishing his podcast and newsletter. On Friday in Philadelphia, basketball star LeBron James said he had been very fond of Grant. While Wall was at Sports Illustrated, he did a cover story on James when James was in high school. I've always kind of watched from a distance even when I moved up in ranks and became a professional, and he went to a different sport, said James, speaking at a post-game press conference. Anytime his name would come up I'll always think back to me as a teenager and having Grant in our building. It's a tragic loss. Tennis great Billie Jean King said the American's death was heartbreaking. A talented journalist, Grant was an advocate for the LGBTQ community and a prominent voice for women's soccer, King tweeted Saturday. He used his platform to elevate those whose stories needed telling. Prayers for his family. Other current and former U.S. soccer players, including Ollie Krieger and Tony Miala, shared their condolences as did sporting bodies such as Major League Soccer and the National Women's Soccer League. Whittingham, Wall's podcast co-host, told CNN on Saturday the news of his death had been hard to fathom. For Americans, Grant Wall is the first person you read covering soccer. He was kind of the only person for a while. Grant was the first person who really paid genuine attention to this sport in a meaningful way, Whittingham said. Several journalists shared stories of reporting alongside Wall and having encountered him at multiple World Cups over the years. Before he became the best covering soccer, he did hoops and was so kind to me, wrote famed broadcaster Dick Vitale. Timmy T. Davis, the U.S. ambassador to Qatar, tweeted that Wall was a well-known and greatly respected reporter who focused on the beautiful game, 